deal with that after class. However, exceptions aside, I think the results were quite good. In one or two cases, very good indeed. Mr. Ames? Mr. Ames, your attention. I want to commend you in particular on a fine report. It was well thought out, well organized, well written. Good work. All right, now for our next session, I would like you to read chapter 9 and chapter 10 through page 138. This class is dismissed. Hey, Barry. Hey, Greg. How's it going? Not bad. Hey, how'd you like to be going around with that? Yeah. Hey, forget it. Right, uh, my pleasure. This is gonna come off kind of gutsy. The thing is, I, I need a favor. Uh, sure. Okay, I really need your help with a term paper, contempt history. Great, uh, on some research or something like that? Well, no. Actually, I was wondering if you could write it for me. Write it? Yeah, I, I've done all the research. It's on Teddy Roosevelt, the big stick policy, that stuff. The problem is, I, I've just gotten myself so bogged down with outside stuff that, that there's just no way I'm going to get the paper done on time. I know, I, it's real dumb. I guess I just took on too much. I flunk history and the, the whole quarter's down the tubes. Well, uh, the problem is it's, uh, Maureen, it's uh, kind of illegal. I suppose it could be, but... Larry, I, I swear, I've never done anything like this before, and I never will again. I, I just have to get past this quarter. Larry, I'm not asking you to do it for free. I'm willing to pay you. I, uh, I couldn't accept money. I, I couldn't do that. And you will help me? and it's been handed in. But now I feel pretty terrible about the whole thing. What I did was all wrong. What can I do about it now? Signed, guilty. Yeah, let's use it. Because it's not just about cheating, it's about conscience, too. Huh? Yeah. Maggie Dale's office. Oh, yes. Just one moment, please. Drapes? Washington. George? Nicholas. Hi. Hi. Hi, Nick. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, it was great. It was great. What? Oh, you are? When? Oh, that's great. What else? Oh, well, I'll see you when you get in. As soon as you get in. How's Nicholas? Fine.
fine. He's uh, coming in tomorrow with some kind of world trade conference. What is it? Remember when I went off to Bora Bora to discourage him? He just asked me to marry him. He what? <laughs> you can be replaced. Now what? I'll just push it aside. I've got more important things to do. Oh. Maggie? You better check the switchboard. Howard. Do you have any idea how many... Oh, how was the vacation? Oh, nice. Uh, that was very sweet of you, Walter, that little excursion into social grace. Well, that little excursion's over. Do you know how many uh, lawsuits we've had this past month? Uh-oh. Seven. Yeah. Seven. And two right out of your column. Now, Maggie, I uh, don't want to sound like I'm picking on you. I'm a decent man. I don't beat children. I'm married to the same wife for 18 years. I build model boats. And I'm a reasonable man. But running a big daily newspaper is uh, one hell of a responsibility. It gets tougher every day. Now, we're supposed to be able to print anything that we want, but the Supreme Court keeps coming up with little no-nos. So what do you suppose happens, huh? Every time we turn around, there's a new lawsuit. All right, Walter. What's this one? Well, see if this rings a bell, huh? A local chef, mustache, big mustache, his pride and joy. The new owners came in, said shave it off or else, so he wrote to me for advice. That's right. And you told him to keep it. They fired him. They fired him. Now he's suing the paper. Now he's suing the paper. Our lawyers say his lawyers have a good case. A very good case. Walter, that man has a right to keep his mustache. Yeah, now he has a right to sue us because he lost his job. Look, Maggie, I'm not arguing with your advice. I'm just arguing with your choice of letters for the column. I mean, stay away from controversy. Controversy? Yeah. How do you figure a mustache is going to turn into a lawsuit? Just stay away from anything that calls for an opinion. Right. And then when the column's dull, you're the first one to complain. Column's dull, Maggie, needs utzing. Well, it needs utzing. It doesn't need lawsuits. Look, Maggie, you're in 79 papers across the country. You want to try for 80? Utz! But go through the middle. Utz but go through the middle. Has a ring of real greatness. Uh, what's this? Marvin. Marvin? It's a good luck idol. Oh. Any luck? Not yet. Another lawsuit? Why is the idea of getting married suddenly so appealing? What have you got? Lady from South Carolina called. Husband keeps motorcycle next to bed. How does she get him to move it to garage? <laughs> Drop her a note. Tell her to tell him she doesn't mind sharing her bedroom with a motorcycle. In fact, they should take turns. The motorcycle gets to sleep with him the first month. L.A. Women's Club called to remind you your guest speaker on Thursday. This, this Thursday? Yeah. Next Thursday. This Thursday. Oh, my God. A man from New Orleans called Raging Mad thinks your advice against middle-aged men marrying teenage girls is for the birds. So he married one and they're happy as clams. He married one and she ran away. Right after reading your column. Composing room, can you give them an extra hundred words for today's edition? And I've got about five more. Everything earth-shaking. Right. Later. <sighs> Later. Dear conscience stricken, you should feel guilty. Writing a term paper for your young dream girl means you cheated no less than she. And don't expect too much out of your new relationship. It's bound to generate more contempt than affection. But I think there is something you can do. Talk to the young lady. Convince her that the only proper course of action is to fess up to her professor together. 
If you're turned on by old adages, this one should help. Confession is good for the soul. If you see any design in my behavior, it is possible that it existed, although I was unconscious of it. And if I have unconsciously struck you down, I ask your forgiveness. Hey, that's good, Maureen. Okay, let's hold up a minute. I want to go over a couple of moves with Bobby. Uh, when you come in, Bobby, hold Could on. I talk with you a minute? Well, I'm, I'm kind of busy. It's uh, about the term paper. Well, like I said, it, it is a bad time. I am kind of busy. Maureen, I, uh, I think we made a mistake. I, I'd really like to talk to you about it. Some other time, okay? Maureen. Look, if I hadn't written your term paper, you wouldn't talk to me in a million years. I know that. But the point is, it was wrong. And I want to do something about it. Like what? I think we ought to go to Professor Miller. And tell him what we did. What? That's crazy. No, it isn't. It's the right thing to do. Maureen! Maureen? Look, I, I've got to go. The hate lady just called. This week, she hates the column on transsexuals. <laughs> oh, also, she advocates capital punishment. Sounds reasonable. Also, guess who's in town and on the line? Oh. Oh. Another proposal? Oh, this is my week. Nick, where are you? Huh? <laughs> okay. Grapes? We told them absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> they told me this week. Absolutely. Nick, hang, hang on a second. Could you please come back on Monday? I came all the way just for this office. It'll take a minute. Okay. <laughs> Nick, where are you staying? Huh? Oh, how long? Well, you'd complain to the Secretary of State. Except it 